Hello there, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Chit Chat and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster where we are working on a studio theme park. Specifically, on this episode, we're going to be making an old style cinema building um, very much inspired by the Main Street Cinema over at Disneyland. I'm not sure if it's also in the Magic Kingdom because it's been quite a while since I've been to the Magic Kingdom. And I, I've only been there twice. And only one of those times I actually remember the place. So uh, uh, I'm basing this kind of off of the one in Disneyland because that's the one I know that actually... I know that one exists, essentially, is what I was trying to say there. <laughs> so um, I, I always really liked that building and I thought it was always really fascinating because if you actually go inside there, um, it's, it's almost like... It's designed almost like you don't go inside of it. It looks just like another... Uh, facade like a bunch of the buildings are um, in that area because a lot of them are just like a conjoined long um, uh, uh, store you know and they have multiple entry points and then you get to the penny arcade and then you get to like the snacks and stuff but the the theater itself you almost feel like you don't go into it because they have a mannequin out front where there's the actual ticket booth and then you if you do go inside it's really cool you have to go past uh, some old style turnstiles but old style turnstiles <laughs> say that 10 times fast because you could probably say it in five, so I have to make it a challenge. Um, but if you go past those old style turnstiles, uh, you will see, I think, about six different screens where they're showing old black and white Mickey cartoons. Old, like the like original, like, you know, Ub Iwerks and uh, Walt Disney, you know, their old black and white Mickey Mouse cartoons. Um, and the one that's always consistent is Steamboat Willie, but they kind of cycle out every once in a while the other ones. Uh, they normally have Playing Crazy, which is the first Mickey Mouse short, which that was all drawn just by Ub Iwerks. And it's really cool if you're into animation and you want to see some like crazy old style rubber hose kind of animation. Uh, just take a look at that short. Like the, the idea that someone drew that or just the thought that someone drew that by hand by themselves is really crazy, especially if you see how um, expressive the animation is just not even in the characters but like everything's a character like the way that the plane deforms and turns and the way that the environment bounces it's all like everything's alive nothing is static and it's just it's it's really fun to watch that old style of animation where literally everything is kind of bouncing up and down and i think that's why i enjoy cuphead so much because if you look at that game and you look at the art style it's very much in the vein of those old 1930s and 40s animations um, where everything has a everything has a bounce to it and I, I always have enjoyed that you know and it's it's a very fine line between it's cool looking and then it's distracting you know and they always seem to find like a balance in those old Mickey uh, Mickey shorts there's are some other cartoons that weren't like Disney but some of the other ones like even some of the old Betty Boop cartoons or some of the I think even um, some of the old Popeye cartoons kind of had that style and uh, I found it sometimes a little bit distracting because I'm like trying to pay attention to what the character's doing but everything in the background in the foreground is just moving up and down so I always I, I still like the style I think it's really cool uh, so we actually jumped into Photoshop for a little bit because we we're gonna be doing the design now you'll notice I originally was gonna call it um, Hollywood Street and the reason I was using street was because I kind of wanted to pay a bit of homage to Main Street, but towards the end of the video, you will see that I changed it to Hollywood Boulevard because I do want all of the areas in this park to be street named, um, whether it's, you know, Boulevard or Street or Avenue. I want everything to have a street name uh, just because I, th I thought that would be a, a fun way to kind of like bring all the different areas of the park together. Um, and one of the things you'll also notice this episode's a bit shorter than the other ones my mindset as of late is that i have less and less time to dedicate you know several hours a day to recording in planet coaster mainly because i'm trying to build up uh, my other channel with more art and animation um so my thought process is that i'm going to start making shorter episodes but the flip side of that is they're going to be coming out more frequently um, and another, a little bit of an announcement, because I know I saw some comments about it in the last video, or maybe even in the Jurassic World Evolution video, I don't remember. There were comments um, about when the next Mario uh, episode's coming out. It is coming out. I just need a little bit of extra time to get the uh, animations done for the Wario Arcade. And I'm about halfway there right now. I've got Wario's animation finished, but I also wanted to have a little sneak peek 
uh, behind the curtain, I wanted to have uh, Waluigi as well, because uh, I, I genuinely love the character Waluigi. Like, Wario's ridiculous, and then Waluigi is ridiculous dialed to 11, you know? Um, and I really like his character, so I wanted to include him in the animation, so... Um, I'm halfway there. I finished Wa Wario. I'm just working on Waluigi. So there might be an episode in between um, this one um, and then the one that actually features those animations. So I might build something else in the next episode of Mario just to give myself a bit more time to work on those animations because I really want them, I want them to be fun and expressive. So uh, just giving you a little bit of an update in terms of that. So uh, hopefully you understand. Uh, I am still working on them, but like I said, it just, I just need a little bit more time. Because animation, even like the simplest of animation, just it takes a little while, unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, I am working on some more animations for future content. Um, this, for example, like I want to build this theater. We work on the exterior of it in this episode, but I do want to build the screens on the inside. And you may notice uh, Hollywood Street, or it will be Hollywood Boulevard by the end of the video. Hollywood Boulevard Cinema presents Miko Cartoons. If you don't know, Miko is actually my pet chinchilla. And uh, she's in all of the end cards for my uh, YouTube uh, videos. So if you stick around for the end of this video, you'll always see a little chinchilla sprite next to my character sprite. Because Miko is kind of like my unofficial mascot. Uh, I love... I love that chinchilla to death. Uh, it she is a problem child. <laughs> she like chews literally everything. I have found her pulling the curtains, my my curtains, my blackout curtains because we get hit by the sun all day every day because we live in a freaking desert called Arizona. So I have these really nice expensive blackout shades. I see this little paw literally like with the little paw, she puts her little paw outside of her cage, and I see the whole drape like slowly moving into her cage, and then she just noms on it. Like, I don't know how she does it because we, we slightly move the cage farther and farther away, but she'll still somehow find a way. Like, she, she, <laughs> like, was able to build enough of a gap between where the cage meets the bottom of the cage and therefore there was more wiggle room so she was able to get to it a second time and i'm like all right that's it so there's like a little bit of a cover between between her cage and the drapes i'm just like this this is pretty chinchilla i swear uh but i i love I, I love her to death we have we actually have uh two two furry critters right now we have uh miko the chinchilla and we have bucky the rabbit and uh bucky was named after the winter soldier because you never know when bucky's gonna turn on you uh, because he'll be like super chill and awesome one second and then flip the freak out the next and you're just like what happened we're literally just sitting here what what's your deal uh <laughs> so a lot of people are probably gonna think that i uh I named him Bucky after, well, not a lot of people, because I think I'm the only one who watched Captain Bucky O'Hare. It's an old 90s cartoon, but I love it. It's so great. It's got one of the catchiest theme songs ever. It's it's uh, it's like up there with the X-Men theme song, like the original X-Men theme song, you know? It's like, didn't have any lyrics in that, but it was just super good. This one has lyrics. Bucky O'Hare has lyrics, but it has just as much like cheesy rock to to combat the x-men theme song so j just check out the intro to that series it's totally it's totally worth it um so you'll notice i'm putting up these screens we don't actually fill them with anything yet because uh i'm actually working on new character models for my art and animation channel um so the character models are going to be you know myself and miko and any other character that's going to be featured on the channel i just wanted to make new ones because i've learned a lot about um character models since the last time i created any assets for my art and animation channel just learning how to streamline the process you know further and further and now that i know i want to use them for more than just animation i want to you know be able to pose them and be able to export them for the use of thumbnails and stuff like that just making them as easy to use as possible so i'm able to um get the content that features those characters out sooner so i am working on a new set of character models and once those are done i'm going to utilize them for you know this park anywhere that those characters are featured because uh i 
I just thought it would be really fun to like animate Miko kind of like, you know, so you have Mickey Mouse and then I've got Miko the Chinchilla and I just thought it would be a fun kind of like par parallel and homage to, to Mickey Mouse if I did, you know, the same kind of like Plane Crazy or Steamboat Willie, but instead it's Miko the Chinchilla and I just thought that would be a really fun project and kind of like a test of animation. So I'll take this character model and I'll obviously modify it to fit that really old school style and do kind of the rubber hose style animation, which I'm really looking forward to. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's kind of what got me so excited about building the cinema was the fact that I was going to do animation for it, not just any animation, but try and use, you know, vector based um, flash slash animate based animation and try and replicate somewhat that style. And they're going to be really short videos. because, Like I said, animation takes a while. So they're just going to be like, I don't know, 10 second clips that'll just kind of like loop over and over again because if anybody like were to look at this theme park outside of this channel they might not even think to go inside the cinema you know um because there i've seen plenty of builds where the buildings are just buildings and maybe they just kind of like throw a store inside of there without any you know decoration which is totally fine um and i even do that in future episodes for this series but some buildings, I just want to, I want to give it that extra little touch, you know? Because I just think it'd be kind of fun. You just, like, happen to, like, oh, well, this building looks cool. Let's check inside. I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at all these animations. That's so cool. You know, that kind of, they, like, almost it be a surprise. Um, <laughs> like, I just thought this would be a really fun project because I love movies. I am a huge movie buff. Movies and video games were my escape. And, uh... I, and it's, it makes me sad. Be, it makes me sad being an old man, an old adult, because uh, I have less and less time to just go to the movie theater, you know, and uh, I'm so behind on so many movies I want to go see. And by the time I'm like, I have time to go see them. They're already on Redbox or they're on Netflix. I'm like, gosh, darn it. But, you know, I'll just watch them at home. We'll pop popcorn. We'll pretend it's the movies. One day, I'll build my own theater. <laughs> I'll make it look just like this. <laughs> I'll have to be super rich, but it's it's a pipe dream, but it's a dream nonetheless. Um, no, but in all seriousness, this was really fun to build. Um, I had a little bit of trouble, which you're going to see a little bit of the struggle here with these lights just to try and make them look somewhat okay. Um, this cinema sign did take quite a bit of effort. I think this was more of an effort than the, like, the entire building put together. Um, but like I said, this in this video, like I said, it, was, it is a little bit shorter, and this is going to be the primary focus of this episode. And the next one, we're going to be working on more of the Hollywood Boulevard, you know, the facades. But I'm also building, uh, I'm building them out to actually be like sh uh, stores, so they're not just um, just buildings. Uh, and like we'll have restrooms, we'll have like a coffee shop, that sort of thing. So really this area will get filled out pretty quick. And I'm still in my head, I've got ideas of lands that I want in this park. And people have been giving me like some awesome suggestions. And it's funny because like some of them are even kind of in line with what I want to do. Um, and some of them have helpful, helpfully reminded me of like ideas that we were either discussed on the channel previously and I honestly forgot. <laughs> like someone mentioned, you know, doing a Ruby themed area or a Ruby themed ride. If you don't know what Ruby is, it's a fantastic uh, anime. And I guess you can call it anime, but it's a it's a series from um, the Red vs. Blue guys, Rooster Teeth. It's a fantastic series. I love it. It's got some of the coolest action scenes ever. <laughs> it just it reminds me a lot of like the devil may cry action scenes like as long as it looks cool it's in it's like one of the it's like that kind of mindset you know um so that's definitely that's got to be something that i'll do in this park eventually there is going to be an animation themed land for sure because i have talked multiple times about making a over the garden wall themed attraction that's definitely going to be one of the things that goes in there um I'm also going to do some original content. So similar to like this Miko, um, these Miko cartoons, you know, I want to do some original ideas that are just, uh, just for fun, you know, cause even, even universal, um, has rides that aren't based off of any real IP. Uh, like, uh, I think it's called rip ride rocket, which is over at universal studios in Florida. It's just, it's a ride that's kind of based off of music you know you select you select the music that you want to listen to but it's not really based off any ip and i really genuinely miss that about theme parks in general was some of my favorite rides weren't attached to ips pirates of the caribbean the haunted mansion but a lot of those rides do end up becoming you know franchised ips especially with the example of 
you know, you have a ride called Pirates of the Caribbean. You eventually make a movie called Pirates of the Caribbean. There's multiple movies, a trilogy, and then almost another trilogy. They're not quite there yet, but I'm sure they're going to make another one eventually. And then eventually the ride becomes based off the movies, which the movies were originally based off the ride. <laughs> and that's okay, because, like, I don't know, it started off as, like, its own thing. And I, I really do miss that, because uh, recently, you know, because this, hopefully this video is going to go up really soon that's what i'm aiming for um but recently the incredicoaster was opened up in the new pixar pier and i i actually really 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 like the california screaming roller coaster it was one of the coasters that got me over my fear of coasters because of how great of a ride it is it's like one of the smoothest roller coasters i've ever been on and it, I saw videos of it as the Incredicoaster, and the work that they did was was okay. It was like it was kind of cool. Um, I love those characters. The Incredibles is one of my favorite movies of all time. But to see it just it for me, knowing what it was, it just kind of feels like the characters were just slapped on it. You know, like almost almost imagine like putting stickers on something. You know, it's like you know what it was before, but the stickers kind of make it a little bit cooler. But at the same time, you're just like, but I kind of liked it the way it was. And I don't know, that might be just my nostalgia for the original ride kicking in. I don't dislike it whatsoever. I can't even make a real opinion on it until I ride the thing. Um, but I definitely would say that some of the effects that they put on that ride, especially the violet sequence, looks better at night than it does in day. But again, I can't make like a... I, I, it's definitely not I just like this ride because it's new like no no it looks it looks cool and some of the effects are really neat um I just I kind of liked the the roller coaster before it was really themed to any particular IP you know like like Thunder Mountain like Space Mountain you know um so we are actually getting towards the end of this video I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a bit shorter than my normal episodes. I do apologize for that, but I think it'll be easier for me to do it this way because uh, being able to make shorter episodes and get them out sooner, I think is better for everybody. Um, I'm really happy with how this cinema turned out. I can't wait to work on the interior and work on those animations. I'm really excited for it. And like I said, we're going to be continuing working on the uh, Hollywood Boulevard area on the next episode but of course like always uh thank you for watching i really appreciate it and i will chat with you later